Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep. But now we're and that was stressed out by 21 Pilots. This is Gene Rayburn, WNEW AM 1130 Manhattan Podcast. Today, we're speaking with Holden Caulfield. He's a 16-year-old student from Pensy Prep School in Agerstown, Pennsylvania, but he's a Manhattan hometown boy. Now, Holden has been dealing with depression and is coming on the Manhattan Podcast to talk about his struggles in hopes that he can help someone else that's dealing with that. Good evening, Holden, and welcome. Thank you. Um, here on the podcast, we get right to things, so I'm just going to get to some of the questions that we've talked about. So um, in introducing your story, your little sister Phoebe is very important to you. Um, in, your, in your depression, do you think that she's the one person that's keeping you alive, and if so, how? Yes, Phoebe is really important to me because she's always there for me. She's a great sister, and since the death of my brother Allie and my brother in L.A., um, writing books and stuff, I think it would be really difficult for her if she were to lose another brother. Okay, and your brother Allie, you mentioned that he passed away a few years ago. How has his death affected your outlook on life overall? The death of Allie put me in a really tough situation. That's where my depression really began. And what really helps me are the poems that he had written on his baseball glove, um, and he would read them during the baseball game when he was bored, and now I read them as a memory of him. Okay, and what is one of those poems that you find inspirational? Can you can you share with us one of those? Well, they're really personal, and I've only told one other person who is my very good friend, Jane Gallagher, so I'd rather just keep that to us. Okay, I can respect that. Thanks for sharing that. So a while ago at Pensy, there was a death of a student named James Castle. Did you know him? Were you close to him? I wasn't really close to him. I just had one encounter with him when he he asked to borrow my turtleneck. Okay. And how did his death affect you mentally with going through this depression, your mental stability? How was that affected by James's death? Well, his death was a suicide, and he jumped out of a window, and the sight of his body laying on the ground was really horrific, and I had had thoughts about suicide and harming myself. So I really didn't, after that encounter, I really didn't want anyone to see me like that. So. Okay. Um, so... Something else that I learned about you uh, in talking about um, or, or in doing some investigation was that you're currently failing four out of your five classes and you're about to be expelled from Pincy. Now, why is it that you've struggled with motivation to do well in school through your depression? Yeah, I'm not very proud of it, but I just get tired of caring about stuff like this. It just is old news and it's just hard for me to care about it when I've been do- School's just boring and everything. Okay. And and something that I've noticed in talking with you and, and, and just preparing for this interview um, is that you have a lot of negative feelings, and that is portrayed in your answers. That's portrayed in how you are. Um, but you don't talk about your positive feelings at all. What do you feel is preventing positive things from happening in your life? Well, I think it's mostly because of the death of my brother. And after that, I've obviously been depressed and nothing really positive has happened that has got me out of my depression. Okay, but one thing that's positive that's in your life is your teacher, your old English teacher, Mr. Antolini. Now, how has your relationship with him helped you through the times that you faced? Well, Mr. Antolini has given me really good advice through my tough situations and he has been honest with me when I have done things wrong and when I need his honesty to help me get through things and actually he's the one teacher that really taught me well because I'm not failing English okay it's the one class okay well good for Mr. Antolini um, now I know the term catcher in the rye is more metaphorical but you mentioned that the thought of being a catcher in the rye made you no longer depressed how did that thought help you well a catcher in the rye is like a hero who saves little children from falling off a cliff so the thought that's like saving children from adulthood and then coming to all the problems that adults have to face. So it'd be really make me happy to like save children from that. Okay. Earlier we talked about your brother who moved to LA and is pursuing a a career in writing. And when we talked about him, you seemed happy and excited. Why didn't you follow through with following him to LA? Why aren't you out in LA now? Well, I was very excited to move to LA or somewhere close to there to get a fresh new start, but I 
when I told my sister Phoebe, she was the only one I knew that I was back from Pensy, and she was convinced that she could come with me, but when I told her she couldn't, she was devastated and was very upset with me and wouldn't talk to me. So I decided that it wasn't a good idea because it would put her in a really tough situation. The last question I have for you is about your view on people. Uh, how has your depression kept you from really forming lasting and long-term relationships with people? Well, I used to think most people were phonies because they thought they were better than everyone else and wanted all the attention, but I came to the fact that I actually was seeking attention as well, and I had trouble forming relationships because of this, and I was also pushing people away when I thought they were actually pushing me away. Are you still seeking attention with this interview? Not with this interview. I'm just trying to help people out. Okay. Well, Holden, uh, we really appreciate you coming on. And again, everyone, that was Holden Caulfield. Uh, just in here, he's a 16-year-old student at Pensy Prep School, just talking about his depression in hopes of helping someone else. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is Gene Rayburn with WNEWAM 1130, the Manhattan Podcast. Have a great night.